64-year-old Tony sits at home facing the camera. I never imagined I could run with limited vision. Never mind develop a passion for the sport. It wasn't always that way though. I was diagnosed in my late teens with a brain tumour and consequently degenerative sight loss and I was registered blind at 36. Tony holds some police memorabilia. I was a police officer at the time, making a positive difference and confident and all that was taken away. Tony makes a cup of tea. For over 20 years I believed that life had given up on me. I lost my passion, my drive, I lost myself. How do you find you when you've lost you? He sets down his tea and sits in an armchair. Yeah, sport never came into, the, into my mind. Why on earth would it? I mean, I walk into the walls in my own home. Why would I take up sport? So somebody said to me, why don't you come and run couch to 5K? I thought, yeah. But they wouldn't, they did not take no for an answer. So I went and did it. Tony ties his trainers on the stairs. And I believed. I found me again. He meets his running guide outside. They attach their guide tether. I thought, me, overweight, running? What am I going to look like? I can't do this. I'm going to fall, I'm going to run into things. But I didn't. And who cares what I look like? Who cares? I'm doing this. They start running towards the coast. That first time running, it wasn't easy, no. No, I hadn't run for 26 years. But with the support of the people around me, with the person next to me, I could do this. I could actually do this. That feeling of being able to run for the first time in years, it's indescribable. That emotion, just going home, floating on air, believing again. Couch to 5K transformed my life. Once you get started, the feel-good factor really does kick in and really makes a difference. Tony and his guide meet sighted friends. It inspired me to join a running club. And from having nobody in my life to having so many genuine friends, it also helped me to lose weight. I lost over two and a half stone in less than three months. The group runs on a path alongside the sea. In the running community, you're a person. You're not sight loss. They see the person. They don't see the sight loss. The running community is welcoming to you. Even though I've run into many things, car mirrors, trees, tripped over curbs, I'm never giving up. Just because we can't see, or we can't see fully, doesn't mean we can't do. We just gotta believe in ourselves. The magic will happen. What magic will you create? Take the Sea Sport Differently quiz to find an activity that's right for you. Sea Sport Differently, in partnership with RNIB and British Blind Sport, funded by Sport England and the National Lottery.